Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll take you through the CSS object position property. We have already been through the CSS object fit property in the previous video. And in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss the object position property. So both the properties are similar and can be used together to maintain and manipulate the website layout. So in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss the syntax and usage of the CSS object position property. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have regular updates on multiple programming videos. So if you are a programmer and if you want to learn something new, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what is this object position property? The object position property in CSS is used to specify the position of an image or video within its container element. So this property can be used in conjunction with the object fit property to control how the content is displayed within the container. So the object position property takes two values, the horizontal and the vertical position of the content within the container. So these values can be specified in different units. So by units, we mean pixels, percentage, or even keywords. So you guys will understand it much better with the help of an example. So let's understand it with the help of an example. So first thing we are going to do here is we are going to create a div. Fine. So let me just write here div class is equals to container. And then we'll add an image. So we'll use the same image from the previous uh, CSS object fit property. So I'll write here img src is equals to we have a folder named images. Now inside the images folder we have a picture named okay Groot.png. Okay, so we have to write here Groot.png. Fine. So we have to write the alternate here. So let me just write here Groot. And that's it. Save it. So here you can see we have a picture of Groot. Now we are going to use the object fit and object position property. So let's just uh, use this container first. We are going to write here width. Width is going to be let's say 400 pixels for this container. Then we'll define the height. Height is going to be 400 again. Let's create a square box. Then we'll write here border one pixel solid and black in color so here you can see we have a box now we have to fit the image inside the box so we'll write over here img this is the tag we have now we'll use the object fit property so it contains three or four different values right it contains fill cover contain and none so let me just write here cover fine now save it but we have to define the height and width as well so if I'm writing a height as 100% it will take the height of its parent element its parent is the div tag fine because the image tag is defined inside the div tag let me just write a hundred for width as well save it and here you can see the image is present inside now we'll write if I write over here fill and here you can see so it took hundred percent of the box and we can use different values here for the object fit property fine so we have the height and width of this what we can say image now if i'm writing here object okay position now the object position can contain three or four different values first of all it takes two different values one is for the left side and the other one is for the top so as we have discussed earlier the object position property takes two values, the horizontal and the vertical position of the content within the container. So if I'm writing here, let's say 50 pixels, let's see if it makes some changes. So you can see the image is shifted towards right, right? 50 pixels from the left. And if I'm writing here 50 pixels from top, so here you can see 50 pixels from top, the image is going down. So here you can see how we can use the object position property. In this very basic example, the object fit property is set to cover to ensure that the image fills it fills its container. Now the object position property is set to center center or we can say 50 50 pixels we have used here. Instead of this, we can use different values as well like center center. 
so these are string values the image will be centered and apart from that we can use here for the horizontal axis we can use left and for the uh, vertical axis we can use top or bottom if I am writing here bottom okay save it here you can see it doesn't make any difference so let me just change this value of object fit to none fine I'm writing here none save it now here you can see object position is towards the left and bottom fine it took hundred percent and if I'm writing here contain so here you can see so here you can see how we can use the object position property we'll take you through another example now other value other possible values for this object position values include top bottom left and right according to the axis fine and combination thereof as well as values expressed in pixels or percentages we can use different values for this object position property fine now if you want to take a full example of this so here what you can do is you can create an image and then try to fit it in, fit it in inside any container or something like that but now we are going to take you through an example where we are going to show you how the CSS object position property actually works and how you can use it to make your web page look more interactive to the user as well not just attractive but interactive as well so now imagine a scenario where you have a web page where you want to show the products to a uh, what we can say user fine so if you want to show the product you want it to show differently a little different so where what we can do is we can use the hover effect in CSS the most basic animation we have in CSS now here what we are going to do is we are going to make some changes with the object position property and then we are going to see how this property can make our web page look more interactive to the user this HTML part will remain the same we'll take a div tag we'll use it image so here you can see we have an image already fine so this is the actual size of our image and the image is nice so you can use any product image so let's con consider this as a product image for now now what we are going to do is we are going to create a container first let's say I'm writing over here width as 600 pixels for the container height as 600 pixels again now border we are going to use as let's say 5 pixels solid or we can say 1 pixel solid and black fine save it so here you can see we have an image now I guess now you guys will be able to see it so here you can see we have a box and the image is present within the box that's simple right now let me just right over here IMG and height we are going to give as 100% again width we are going to use as 100% again save it so here you can see we have a image present within the container the next property we are going to use is the object fit property so the value is going to be none again save it so here you can see we have this image and the last property we are going to use is the object position property now we are going to shift this image towards the lower bottom side of a box that's it so if I'm right if I write here 350 pixels and 250 pixels you can see our Groot is taking a sneak peek right so if I am writing here 325 instead of 350 and 225 again instead of 250 so here you can see the image is present at the bottom right now what we can do is we can change the object position value or we can change the values of a object position property to make it look more interactive to the user right now it's looking fine right if we add an anything like uh, if we add a text over here it will look good fine now what we are going to do is we are going to use the hover property so I'll write over here IMG hover and what we want to happen when we hover over it we want to change the object position we are going to center this image fine save it and hover over this image you can see Groot coming at the center of this box now apart from this we can make it look more interactive to the user by using certain small properties just change the properties what will happen on hover just if I write here border border will change to let's say 5 pixels solid and black again fine save it 
take your cursor over here you can see the border is changing to 5 pixel and it's solid and black in color it looks good right now apart from this what we can do is we can change the background color as well so let's say I'm writing over here this color so here you can see it looks pretty good right now right so here you can see this is how we can use the CSS object position property to make a web page or to make the elements or images present on a web page to look a little more interactive to the user as well. So the object position property is what played a vital role here in this particular animation, right? With the hover effect, of course. So I hope you guys must have got a good idea about the object position property and you should know how to use this property because every time you create a web page or every time you work on a web page, you can use this property so you should use this property to manipulate the web page to manipulate the position of an element on a web page so here you can see how good it is looking fine it's just a simple animation with not more than six to seven line of code you here you can see what we did is we changed the object position property we changed the value for our object position property on hovering fine we made it center center then we changed the border value and the background color on hovering over this particular container and it the result is in front of you so I hope you guys must have got a good idea about this CSS object position property by now. You must have got a good idea about the syntax and usage. If you still feel like we have missed out on some important topic that we were supposed to cover in this particular video, or if you still have any doubt related to any of the topics we have covered in this particular video, then please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and we'll definitely answer them for you. So that's all for this video guys. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next time with some other video. Until then, keep coding and stay tuned to Simply Code.